Hi, in this video of C language, we will cover about floating point constants. As whenever we define an identifier, either variable or constant of float type, we may initialize them with a particular value on the right hand side of the assignment operator. So whenever you are assigning it with a value which we can also call the floating uh, literal, so how and what all we can write up to there. So a floating point literal has an integer part means the whole number part. After that you can put a decimal means as we know floating value also takes the decimal numbers. A fractional part and an exponential part. So exponent means that will be represented by small or capital E. So whenever you want to do like that here as you can see 3.159 so that that is what that is a fractional number that is a decimal number so you can simply assign such values for any fraction for any floating value similarly here you can find it is the combined exponential expression like it is mentioned e out here and l that means long so it is a complete exponential form which you can assign in any floating value but if you don't have any complete exponential means as here you can see it is not a complete one here we have written f that is for float but there is nothing like a decimal value and here after decimal we started with the exponential which is again the invalid value for a floating number so you can use some valid values like them to initialize any fractional number for a floating point. So let's see practically what all we can pass in a fractional number in float type of variable. So as here you can see for floating numbers I can either assign a decimal value like this where you can see after this float variable on the right hand side we have passed something in decimals. Float values can also take a non-decimal number but while execution it will show you the zeros in up to six decimal places. So here I will assign the value as you can see uh, I have passed up to five decimal places like 14159. So by default when it will be printed it will take zero at the end. Similarly we can also pass a valid exponential expression like this as here you can see up to the same value I have passed something e that is the ex, uh, exponential and after that the 5l where l represents the long. So in either cases when I will execute as you can see like both values are equal so when I print the value both will get the same values. But for such statements these are the incomplete exponential statements and whenever you will try to execute such statements it will definitely give you the errors. So for float there are two things either pass a decimal value or a valid exponential series.